So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today we're taking a look at a very useful tool within Analyti that if used properly guys, you can use it to improve your Wi-Fi coverage, improve your speeds, and um, this is available for the Fire Stick, your Nvidia Shield, most of your Android devices. They also do have a mobile application, which I will be covering in a future video. But today we're taking a look at the Wi-Fi channels portal within Analyti. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streamer reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So first thing, the Analyti application is available in the App Store, guys. All you need to do is go over to your apps, search for Analyti, and it should be right there. So at the heart of the application, you'll have your speed test. But if you scroll down, you can see every detail test. You have a web check, you have a VPN check, Wi-Fi networks, as well as your Wi-Fi channels. So let's go ahead and we're gonna jump into the Wi-Fi channels. So what we're looking at is a bunch of gibberish, probably to most of you guys, but I'm gonna try to break it down just to make everything a little bit more simple. So for most of you guys out there, your router is gonna have two basic bands, guys. You're gonna have the 2.4 gigahertz as well as your five gigahertz band. So both bands have their pros and cons. The 2.4 gigahertz is gonna be a little bit slower, but it's gonna give you a longer range. The five gigahertz is gonna give you more speeds, but uh, if you're going through a couple walls, you might see that signal drop off a little bit. So like I said, in a future video, I will be covering the mobile version of this where you can actually walk around, you can see your signal strength, do some speed tests, and kind of make the decision of how you wanna go ahead and reconfigure your network. So just to snip this in the butt, if you have a decent coverage to your five gigahertz, that means if you're not too far away and the five gigahertz is available, I recommend using that. Five gigahertz has more channels available, it's wider spread, you're not gonna have a lot of overlapping or interference as you will on the 2.4 gigahertz. Now the 2.4 gigahertz is probably the main culprit when it comes to Wi-Fi issues. So some devices may rely on the 2.4 gigahertz and that's where the issue comes in. Not only does your phones and your tablets and your, your laptop uses the 2.4 gigahertz, but also random stuff around your house, guys, like your, your cameras, your, your security systems, your microwaves, uh, they use the same frequency and this causes a lot of interference. So real quick, I'll go ahead and link this article in the description, guys. There are three basic type of interference. There's a co-channel, which means that your device is on the same channels. The channels do not overlap. However, one device has to wait for the other devices to go. So basically take turns sending data back and forth. You also have the adjacent channel, which means that every client and access points are overlapping and talking over each other. You also have non Wi-Fi devices, like I said, like microwaves, your camera, your cordless phones that really don't need a Wi-Fi network but they use that same frequency and that causes a lot of issues so on the 2.4 gigahertz there are three channels that don't overlap with each other channels 1 channel 6 and channels 11 so 2.4 in a nutshell guys it ranges from 2400 to 25 100 megahertz as you can see here so these 100 megahertz in between are split into 14 channels so about 20 megahertz a piece so as a result each 2.4 gigahertz channel will overlap with two to four other channels and overlapping is what causes a lot of these issues so back over to the fire stick and you can see that most of my channels here are on channel four it looks like so everything is just it's total chaos i have the meshes there i have my main network there i have some other things on there and everything seemed to be centered on channel four so what you want to do is you want to get into the settings of your router and switch to either channel one channel six or channel 11. so you guys are probably thinking what if i have multiple devices or a lot of devices on that channel so what this is an example of is co-channel guys which means you have multiple devices they'll take turn talking but there won't be a lot of interference so this will still give you better results than if you chose one of these other types of connection so this will kind of be the same for the five gigahertz like i said you have a lot more options there but i'm not going to focus too much on that i will show you how to change it on both uh, but the 2.4 is usually where the where the big issues are so what i'm going to do i'm going to jump over to the router i am going to log in and show you guys how to change this and just kind of show the difference there as well to get to your router for most people it's going to be 192.168.1.1 or it can be 10.0.0.1 uh, it all depends to find out for sure what your router ip address open your command prompt by hitting the windows key type in cmd 
and then type in IP config. Now what we're looking for is your default gateway guys. So whatever your default gateway is normally, that will be the IP address of your router. So once you have that IP address 192.168.1.1, type it in your web browser. Make sure you're on the same network, of course. And normally, if you've been here already, you already have your password set up. For some routers, it might be password and admin for username and password. So for my router, I'm going to go to Wi-Fi Connect. Then I'm going to go to Wireless. And we'll just give it a second for it to load here. So you can see right here, I have my five gigahertz network and I have my 2.4 gigahertz network right here so from a 5 gigahertz you can see that's set to 100 and I can play with it I can change it around but like I said 5 gigahertz is usually pretty open just for effect let me go ahead and we'll switch it to let's just go to 108 so 2.4 is where we're going to run into a lot of issues so let me just um, show you my screen as well so you can see there that my 2.4 um, is centered around channel 4 and that's proven true right here. So it is set to auto right now which means that it probably tries to jump to the best network. But for me, like I said, I'm going to either choose channel 1, channel 6 or channel 11. So just to give you guys a, a better idea, here's the speeds that we're getting on channel four so we're still on channel four see we're getting 43 download about 21 upload for the most part the upload is going to remain consistent so let's just do a second test so again similar 44 uh, download and we're going to get about 21 22 on the upload side and so for this one look like we already have something on channel one and look like we have something on 11 already so we're going to go ahead and pick channel six I'm going to click apply. So set and look like it has been applied. So let me jump back over to my fire stick. All right, so let's do a quick speed test. So it did go up a little bit. Let's go ahead and give it another shot. Yet again, we, we got a little bit improved, guys. Jumped up about three uh, megabits per second. Curious to see if we try channel one or channel 11 to see if we get any improved scores. So let's try 11 first. All right, so settings are applied. Let's do a quick test. All right, so it looked like we did improve on channel 11. Uh, let's try channel one. And sometimes it's just a matter of playing with the with the different settings, guys, uh, just to see what works best for you. I uh, look like we should be on channel one right now. Let's give that a shot. All right, so it looked like channel one gave us about 50 or so. But for this, the best performing channel is 11. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And I'm going to stick with channel 11. So as far as the speed, this is what I'm getting on my 2.4 gigahertz. Let me switch over to the 5 gigahertz. And I'll just show you what the difference is. And there's the difference, guys, between 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. So moral of the story is, if a 5 gigahertz network is available to you, that should be the network that you use. Like I said, it does have its limitation when it comes to distance. But if you only have the 2.4, you have a wonderful tool right here that you can go ahead and utilize just to make sure you're getting the best out of that network. So quick run through of a very useful tool on the Analyti application. Want to know what you guys think if you've used this and also if you think this will make a difference in your Wi-Fi speeds. Uh, like I said, they do have an application for your mobile device. I will be checking that out as well. If you guys have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one.